Hey there. This is my stencil cutting box. It's just a shoe box that I keep my stencil making tools in. Here's my three in one heat tool. It's not very expensive. I want to say maybe the $30, but I got it at one of the big box stores with a coupon. So I probably paid about $15. Here is the little container with the little rest um, and the extra tips that I never use. I only ever seem to use the one that's on there. I should look at other ways to use this heat tool. I'm sure there's something else fun I could do with it. This just happens to be in the box. These are some cutting tools I got on clearance and I actually use those to make um, circles and strips and wavy lines and masks. And this is what I use to cut my stencils out of. This is not new. This is not anything I made up. There are a lot of other videos on YouTube that showed me how to do this. So I go to the dollar store and I get these index dividers. They're just different colored plastic. And I keep some other ideas in the box for some maybe future stencil designs. So I'm just going to walk you through it briefly. Here's my piece of glass. I got at the uh, Lowe's. It's just a plain piece of glass. Sorry. And I put some tape around the edges to keep it safe. And I'm sorry, my lights are reflecting in that glass, my overhead lights. All right, so this is what I'm working on. This is one of my favorite doodles, these flowers. I believe it started as a Zentangle design, and I find myself putting it into my artwork often. Um, you'll see it sprinkled all throughout my work. So I took a regular sheet of printer copy paper because it's the right size for these dividers. And I drew out these flowers. Now, I have to decide what I'm going to cut out to make the stencil. So I took a different color flare pen, just so you can see what I'm doing. I already did that section. Now, so I'm gonna cut out this circle, but now, I'm going to line out this section I think I'll take out that and that and now I'll fast forward through the rest So as you see, I taped my pattern underneath the glass and I'm getting my heat tool plugged in and warmed up as I, uh, it only takes a few minutes to heat up. So I'm going to that heat up while I put my stencil material on the top. Okay, so we are ready to cut. I simply take my heat tool and it's got a little tiny sharp tip on it that's very hot and I just go right over the lines that I've drawn and it melts that plastic. I find you have to move quickly because if you don't remove the piece really fast, it wants to, the plastic wants to melt itself back together and you can't get your piece out. So I'm going to leave some of this real time for you so you can see you know, the speed at which it goes. I find it kind of relaxing. I do worry a little bit about the smoke from... Sometimes the melted plastic sends up a little puff of smoke that can't be healthy for your lungs. So I opened my window. I try and do it in a ventilated area. And I try not to like... I can't explain it. Try not super melt wide pieces of plastic. Just as small a line as I can.
I don't know if I haven't practiced enough because I don't do this very often or if it's just a process that can't be perfect. But if you're a perfectionist, this might not work for you. As you can see, I struggle in places to get a smooth line, to get an accurate cut, but that's okay for my style. It works for me. Right here, I put the video into really fast speed, 20 times speed, and it still looks tedious to me for you to sit and watch me cut this entire page out. So I think I'm going to stop it right here and then just jump forward in time to when the page is finished. All right, so here is my finished stencil. I'm taking the last piece of tape off, and I think it's beautiful. I don't know, is it truly unique? Is there another stencil out there like that? I don't know, there's a million stencils. There's nothing new under the sun. But I know that there is nothing exactly like this one. I drew it, I cut it, it's all my own. This is the piece I did with it. I did the background with gouache, and then I drew this girl in graphite. You'll see the three stages in just in photos. Here is the girl painted with gouache and some line work on top. And then the last step, I used some Stabilo All to put some depth and some shadows, and I think she's beautiful. And that was all started with my own homemade stencil. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. See you soon.